Hey, what's going on? I'm Alexia and you're watching Behind the Struggle. My poor puppy was throwing up earlier and I don't know, he's been sad today, so he wanted to sit on my lap, so I let him. Do you remember Eminem's album Music to be Murdered by? I'm sure you do, because it didn't come out that long ago and it was obviously dope. My rapper and I had done a chain of reactions to the entire album just to see what would hit and what wouldn't and uh, everybody hated what I had to say about Stepdad, the song Stepdad. Anyway, I guess he released a whole other album that was like technically side B. You guys remember like those little tapes where there was like side A and side B that I just literally age myself, I'm sure. Hopefully you've heard the album and seen these music videos. I'm going to react to one today, so I haven't watched it, but I hope you guys have. If you haven't, I'll throw a link below so you can see it. Before we get into it, just a quick little thing since Eminem is one of my favorite rappers, but that's because he's lyrically a genius and he's one of the very few rappers that can rap like in the middle of a sentence or the middle of a line and it still makes sense and it still flows and the syntax is just amazing. So that's why I appreciate Eminem. Why do you guys like Eminem? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm gonna see what Eminem has to say in Nat, G-N-A-T, in Nat today. <laughs> okay, the first line. These these lines are like COVID. You get them right off the bat. I'm already dead. Eminem's like double and triple meanings are just always on point. That was hilarious. Come on. If you're hypersensitive, I wasn't referencing the vice president chill. <laughs> what was up with that scream? Even if I don't have a dog in the fight, they ain't never gonna get rid of the fight in the dog. But I cough because he's. <laughs> if I suck, then your wife is a straw. <laughs> This is what I was talking about before, like, who knows when this night Marilyn, like, Monroe, Marilyn Monroe, I mean, I know you caught that, I'm just like, what the hell? Bars on bars. 2020 hindsight from a side mirror, every year you drop the ball like Times Square with an opiate groping it while I'm holding it like a trophy I'm hoping. That whole thing just stimulated, like, my mind a hundred times in, like, the 20 seconds that it was. That's why I love Eminem. You heard the trumpet in the back, but it didn't get louder until you actually saw it, or for me, actually. Cause I see a lot of imagery, like the, like Spider-Man's dark side. Did he rise from that bullet shot or was it a dream? Not gonna lie, that was super interesting how the song was named Nat and he really only referred to it like you're fighting it off. The one thing that I couldn't get maybe on my first watch was why Nat was a cup of noodles. Let me know why that was a symbol. I also think it was interesting how he said from a Martian to a human and that's how the virus attacks. Like, kind of makes you think, right? <laughs> I also think it's awesome that Eminem can like throw humor into like the seriousness of his career. Cause I mean, he's talking about something super relevant and then maybe his take on it, but then he's adding his like twisted sense of humor, which everyone's like grown to love over the years, or at least I have. Like I said, if you haven't listened to the rest of that album, do so for sure. I know that reaction was a little short and sweet, but if I missed anything major, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll throw my Instagram up right here for you. And let's hope that my puppy feels better. I don't know why he's so sick and everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you did. I hope to see you next time. Bye.